What is up everybody, JSP It's Games here and welcome back to another episode of Light Welcome back to another part of episode 5 of Life is Strange In the last part of episode 5 We woke up in the dark room after being taken After uh, some candid photos have been taken of Max um, She was obviously drugged and out of it Uh We'd learnt that Mr. Jefferson had killed both Chloe, Nathan, and Rachel. So, that's not always cool. But, we've gone back in time and been back in time again to, to get back to the very beginning. We've submitted a photo to um, uh, win the Everyday Heroes Contest. And now we are waking up on a plane heading for San Francisco. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. Yes, on a plane. Which we weren't last time, so we changed I history. I everything right this time. It's hard to tell. This is the sea universe. That's, literally, we have to come up with names for all these different universes that we have made. Good work, David. So he's alive. Oh, you're alive. Cool. In the sea universe, Chloe is alive. We're also it. heading to San Francisco. Well, We've fixed everything. Except for the tornado, which is probably still coming. I mean, I don't know how we'd fix that. Okay. So, you can see screens. Aww. I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. Okay. When we were ants. Is that where this hot, these dancing hot dog memes have been coming from on the internet? Is this where it's been coming from? Because I really don't understand some memes. And I'm really... That one is really annoying. And the Prescotts. Okay. So, they're talking about the do. Uh, two Moon Diner. Interesting. And there's, uh, of course, the Blackwell Security Uncovers Bunkle and Scandal. Continued on to the next page, but I can't nudge uh, the principal in order to, uh, you know, make him, you know, turn the page. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. Yeah, I do too. I would as well. So weird to be in between realities. Yeah. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. I can't wait for San Francisco. Uh, nobody but we're on the plane. So please don't. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. I remember when we went to America. We could, on the way there, we had these screens that could literally like watch anything. I watched a movie about Daniel Bryan. It was really interesting. I think it was called like the Indie or something like that. It had Daniel Bryan in it and it had also oh, that uh, Zima Ion. That's it. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. Ah uh, no, I prefer they get bigger so I could actually fly again, so I don't have to buy two seats. After all the damage control he had to do this week at Blackwell. Okay. Speak to Miss. Speak to Principal Wells. Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Nah, you were fine. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. Damn, you're telling me. You'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and the Prescotts, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop one. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. I think it would be better you being here than anyone else right now, especially not Mr. Jefferson. Another nosebleed? Max, 
We're playing around too much for time. Well, that was interesting. Let's see how the future keeps on changing. So we got a taxi from the San Francisco airport. San Francisco International Airport. And now we are in the Ziggest Gallery. I've never heard of this gallery. If this is an actual legit gallery in, uh, in San Francisco, if you've been hit to this gallery, let me know in the comment section down below because if you've been to San Francisco, that'd be cool. Actually, wouldn't mind going to America again. I'll, if I ever get a lot of money, I'm going to have to look into it again. I'd love to go to America again. I mean, the last time I went to America was part of a crash trip and it was rather fun. And it's only to New York, but it's rather fun. I'd love to go again. This is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long yep. as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. I will try. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like... I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Okay. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, yep. I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Okay. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. I don't know. This would be a scary thing. I would be I would be terrified right now. I would be terrified. If I was Max doing oh, this, Max. I would be terrified. There I am. Along with all the other winners. Yeah. I should say artists instead. Oh, uh, yeah, I'd go with that. I would go with that, definitely. Can I talk to a receptionist? Hello, receptionist. I never thought I'd get to speak to a gallery receptionist about my own work. Nice. Yeah. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. Thank you. Very, very nice. I wish I had time to go see those murals here. Hmm. Same here. The Zeitgeist Gallery does have a cool history. Oh, Zeitgeist. That's how you say it. San Francisco. Okay, thank you, Max, for telling me how to say it, because I was not sure. I was going to say Zagillist. I need to drop some serious. I would suggest yes. But again, I like American museums because the fact is uh, donation boxes are optionable in American museums. They're not optionable here in the UK. If you do go to a museum, you do donate. That's one of the rules. Now, the UK has different rules to America. I love how much cool art is going on all over the Bay Area. Some mysteries should stay that way. Yep. Holy shit, this flyer was designed just for Chloe. But what would I wear? Hmm. How fun. Yes, Warren would definitely go ape over this show. Yep, definitely. Absolutely. Another thing we could go, to, uh, go with Warren to see. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs, too. Hold on to it. His work is going to be worth serious cash. That's not the way to look at a known yeah, felon like Mark always, Jefferson. The neon is a nice representation. Oh, shit. Pretentious alert. I like it, but I don't know. I'm not one of those people. Like, I like a painting and stuff like that, but, like, 
and I like photography and stuff like that because it's all about angles. But this is that's just that's just neon lights. There's nothing there's nothing there. Like that's just the way I look at art sometimes. Especially you some of the arts. Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris and Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. Thank you. And that is awesome. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these other photos. Okay. Cabin crew. Okay. Old people. I know it's kind of simple, but... Find this haunting. Right? The a drifter. Look timeless. Nostalgic melancholy. A Who teenage girl. Artist? I think it's for some content. That's cool. Yeah. Yes. Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects in focus. Oh, very smart. Thank you. Thank you, mate. I, I do not understand art. No, you probably shouldn't be here if you don't understand us. I probably shouldn't be here. Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. Oh, cool. How much did you pay for that? Um, depending on what photo you're looking at. Uh, there's quite a few photos here. Cause some of them are quite expensive. I would definitely say they are good at... Oh, journalist. Hello. Hi, excuse me. You're Max Caulfield, right? Um. Yes. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images. So I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. That's cool. He seems like a really cool guy. Oh, that's our photo. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. That's our photo. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Yeah. That's really cool. Ooh. Ooh, not good. Not good. Not good at all. That looks really nasty. Chloe! Hey, are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Yeah, all those things. That was actually kind of scary. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. So many missed calls. Oh, come on. Please answer. I mean, how would you get cell reception in the uh, in the museum? I've never had cell mu reception in a museum. We've got to save Chloe. I mean, this is a great day and all. Real achievements. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Our Acadia Bay is going to be destroyed. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. I hope you're right. Because I'm not exactly sure on this. I mean, there's our photo. Did you pay for that? Let's see if we can. No fucking way. I want to have a look around this place a bit more. I have to save her. Okay. All right. So that is the entire exhibit. I have looked around the entire exhibit. Sorry, Chloe, for taking about ninety seconds to look around the entire exhibit whilst I speed walk this place. All right. Entering Excuse universe. Me. I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but kind of focusing on something here, mate. Oh, Norm 
watch Caulfield, right? Tell me um, about Kind of busy. Kind of busy. Leave me alone, please. There we go. Found it. All right, entering Universe D. So many universes within universes. What is going I on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to time? I don't know. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Okay. Simple. Tear the photo. I'm sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. No photo. So all this changes again and we end up back in the dark room, I'm guessing. Here we go. Everything changes. Now we can't go back to fix stuff. I'm wondering what's changed about this time. I don't think too much has... I think we're probably going back to the universe we were in before. At the very start of, ep of part one of this, ep of this episode. I mean, last episode, oh, I mean. Fuck. God, no. I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? The Jeffersons should be in jail. Yes, what? he should. Jesus. But we changed it's everything. Back he's back in he's back out Still in real life again. Out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Answer my question, please. Okay. Um, eat shit and die. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Thank you. Thank you. Your nose is bleeding. Yes. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world. I suppose it is in a way, but it was, but oh, if there's under the same thing we can do about this. Go. You let her. Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. You no. killed her. Oh, so that's four. If you care. That's four you've killed now, Mr. Jefferson, and possible five if you kill Max as well. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck, he burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Yeah. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something weird. The lights are going out. Maybe you should go and look at that. Did you see how crazy it is outside? Well, no, because we can't. We don't have a window down here. Something weird. There's that fear. Oh. Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I, I suppose that's a good thing. No more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. Yes, don't do you this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Oh, 
I mean, can I struggle free? I mean, it would have taken five minutes for Chloe to warn David in this real in this reality. You know, I mean, we're sort of relying on outside effects, but like, it would have taken. It would have been nice. David. No, David, no. Jesus. David Madsen. He... Okay. Can we help him in any way, shape, or form in this situation? And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait. Can we distract him? Can I. Can I please ask you for one last request? Oh. You got me. How can I deny that face? Okay. Um. Can you turn off the lights? I mind turning off the lights. They make me squint, so I won't look good for the shot. Now, you're thinking like a real photographer, and I don't want your last memory to be bad lighting. Okay. It was an idea, just a random idea for him to get to turn off the lights. Promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Okay, in this universe, well, that did, sort of the same thing happened. Wait. Ow. I should have actually warned him soon enough. Wait. Now. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Let's see if this changes anything. Nope. Still not changing anything. Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. Okay. Turning the lights off was not the right idea in this situation. Is there anything else I can do? And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I? Can I please ask you for one last request? Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Okay. Let's see what we can have. Um. One last photo. You, uh, take one last picture of me. I I want to be your best subject. Yes. I almost don't believe. I want to be your best subject. I think you finally learned from me. One last photo. Okay. Achievements are locked. Framed. Cool. Is he going to develop this photo straight away? Which should possibly give me enough time to use a distraction. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? Although. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? No gun, no balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Okay. In this reality, Jefferson, it's over. He's hiding a gun over there. Um. 
Okay. That's not going to work. Pull. There we go. Just had to find the right thing oh, Lord, to fix this situation. Are you okay? Are you alright? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. Punch him again. Put no, no, don't kill him. Just punch him again. There we go. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Can I take a photo of this? Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren! I can use that picture he took of us. Okay. Shit, no signal. Thanks, Keys. But you won't need this anymore. Okay. In the Prescott's had to know about this. Jefferson looks so pathetic now. Yeah. Good though. David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. It Jesus is hell. Was, was going to kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. And who knew hell I came to Portland? Oh, wait. Bitch. That's the premise for one of the... Uh, that's the premise for a movie. Um... I never did. I never did. Until too late. You Trying to be to honest. Your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. Yes, you did. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. That's true. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Me. Kate was. Me too. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. Don't want to piss uh, David off in this situation. I want to be nice to David since he just saved my life. Oh, Max's life. Fun thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel, and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only he wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and I almost used it. But he didn't want to believe me. Yeah. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while you had each other. Um, we were, we're a great team. We, we are a great team. That's one of my problems. I'm not good at teamwork. Never was. Even in the service. I can't even imagine what you went through. I'm not going to make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too, but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. Um, I'm sorry? I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. Who kept all those files? I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but it's hard to come home after war. It Most is. Don't know or care what well, like. as far as I've heard, I don't really know too much about it. But she gave me hope, a new life. 
And you saved mine. Chloe, is she? She would be proud of you. I just Very much so. safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So, where is Chloe? I have a few ideas. I hope she's still alive. Um. Oh, oh, what I do in this situation? Oh, honesty's never got honesty's got places. Tell the truth. David, uh, Chloe is is dead. Yeah, he got to her before me. He can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you Yes, I We saw, saw we saw her die. She got shot. Jefferson Keller in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? Yeah. When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room. I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... God damn it! Don't blame yourself. It's all Mr. Jefferson. You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! Why does no one listen when they say, when people say wait? I see that in hot movies and action films and uh, TV shows like all the time. When someone says wait, no one listens. They just go on and do what they want to do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. It's not the reality I wanted. What have I done? But telling the truth All that time I wasted with surveillance. is good. Chloe. I have to believe Chloe. that. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did fail your when best. you did your best. I kind of want to go and see what Max, happens if I hide the truth. You better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. I have seen enough of this room. David, thank Spent two episodes inside this room. Sort of. But I kind of want to go back and see what happens if I don't hide, if I hide the truth. Gear just for sick bullshit. Let's see if we can hide the truth from David. Might be an idea. It's a lot of cop. Uh, this spider's web is going to be really long to get rid of this time. Here we go. No, none of us did. Speak to Miss. Speak to David. Look at this place. Jefferson would. Oh, I always suspect. Um, I never did. I never did. You should. He wasn't. I wasn't. And Max. Um, me too. Me too. I knew. Jefferson. That pervert was pulling. No. We all make this. Uh, she. Um, actually, I might try this one. She learned from Maybe you. She learned from you. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. You both had a tough start. 
And I know it wasn't easy. I'm not gonna make any excuses. I tried to be. Um, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I should never. I'm going. This is there's I so much here. And you. St I just want to skip through until we get to the right so part. There we go. Uh, hide the truth. David, um, well, she was pretty stressed out, so, um, she went to go, um, medicate before I ended up in here. So, she's okay. Oh, I hope. <laughs> well, I'm happy Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air and use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Okay. Actually, it might have been better if he didn't know. You've seen enough of this room. Yeah. You know what? It might have been better if he didn't know. Okay, teacher. Let's see what kind Just of. Just looking at that makes me want to vomit. Peter. <sighs> I want to burn all these photos. I do too. Looking at me like that. Yep. Same here. How could anybody? Damn. Jefferson torched everything. Yep. Now the only photo I can get is the one Warren took. Oh. That's Victoria's bracelet. Yep. I bet Jefferson was going to use that to frame Nathan. Possibilities. I can still feel those straps. Stop, Max. You're free. Yep, you are free now. You are gonna fry for this. Frank isn't a bad person, but he can't be in denial about the drugs he provided. You won't be going, Jefferson, to any more shows. He can't really. You know, I mean, Frank did what he did no. for reasons. I'm gonna save you. He sold his. For the last time. Okay. Nobody will look at Jefferson's work the same. I hope so. Although I'm guessing it's going to skyrocket in value now. Which is... Looks like Jefferson was planning a major security renovation. With Prescott cash. Yep. Sick. And... No one would have looked for Nathan's body with this. Yeah, that is true. Okay. Let's... Get out of here. Leave the dark room. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where I'm going to leave off today's episode of Life is Strange. So in today's episode, we went to an art gallery. We uh, learned a lot about the tornado. We, le we got uh, to uh, David and... We saved the we saved this universe, I think. But it's been an interesting adventure, anyway. I hope you've enjoyed. I keep on thinking that this episode is going to get longer and longer if I don't stop soon. So I'm going to stop here and hopefully, sorry, you enjoyed today's episode. I might cut that out. I will probably cut that out. I burped in the middle of saying something. I will definitely cut that out. Anyway, until next time, if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're on YouTube. If you're on Vidme, leave an upvote for our channel. And of course, leave a comment over there as well. And until next time, I'm just PH Games, and I am out. See you again.